Welcome to Camaraderie, a uh, channel. Ooh, man, it's it's too hot to come up with anything clever. So I don't think my AC is busted. It's just trying to work too hard um, because it's like almost 100 degrees outside. Since it's so hot, I thought it would be a great time to go spend a week in the desert. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing next week. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of give y'all a rundown of what's in my bag. You know, gear, gear talk. The last couple weeks have just been spent nailing down all the final details of the trip that me and my girlfriend are going on in just a few days. So, um, yeah, we'll be flying into Vegas, flying back from Denver, and just road tripping and camping uh, in between the two. So lots of deserts, a little bit of mountains, should be a good time, but uh, yeah, let's uh, go over what I'm bringing with me. Um, as far as gear goes, I'm not gonna show you how many pairs of underwear I'm taking because frankly, it's none. So first up, we got the bag itself. What brand is this? Tarion? Tarion? Ontario? It's not Ontario. It's Tarion. Tarion. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's it's a camera bag. It's no brevity jumper, I'll tell you that. It's got a little zip pouch on the top flap. On the side, you've got a little mesh pouch for either putting your water bottle or your tripod or whatever in, and it's got, it came with a strap right here, but I lost it somewhere in Los Angeles, so a little bungee cord to it seems to work okay. So I'm gonna buckle this bad boy. Also got another front pouch for something thin. See up top, I've got a little drawstring. That opens up into the top compartment, which has a little um, platform right here that is pretty much like a separation between the top and then the bottom, which is accessed by the back. Um, you could take it out, but I like it. It's convenient, so I don't. Um, and there's also a little pouch right here that kind of goes right there. It's your tablet or laptop or notebook slot. So that's that. On the back it's got some fairly solid solidness to it and some you know cushiony cushiony things. Then you've got a pouch to wear put all your good stuff. It's a camera bag man you know I told you it's a camera bag. On the side here you've also got like a little side access pouch you know when you got it on your back and you just like kind of reach around and uh <laughs> pull it out you know what i'm talking about yeah i found i thought like when i got this bag i thought it was going to be super useful and i'd use it all the time and i just don't normally whenever i'm walking around taking pictures and have this bag with me i've got my camera in my hand already so i don't really need to be reaching around and pulling out um anything from back here. So what's actually gonna go in this bag? This is one of the, the first thing I'm gonna pack is uh, my little my little field notes, notebook, pen for writing, because uh, I don't really feel like writing in my own blood. So yeah, this is going in this top little pouch. And also I'm taking plenty of lens wipes, um, pre-moistened lens wipes just because you know desert lots of sand and grossness and whatnot and i don't know just need lens wipes and the last thing i'm gonna put in that top little pouch on the top flap is this dongle it's like a usb port sd card reader hdmi thing for hooking up to um my macbook which is the next thing that i'm gonna put in here m1 MacBook Air. Um, this thing is awesome. It's fantastic. I got this pretty recently. 
um, kind of just as a like investment in myself. Because uh, the only other laptop that I've ever had, and I still have it, but it's a 2009 <laughs> white plastic regular old MacBook. Yeah, laptop technology has come a little ways since then. So, uh, but yeah, I won't be using this too much. Mostly it's just for hooking that dongle up to so that I can dump my SD cards, you know, at the end of every day. So that is gonna go in that little convenient drop slot at the front of the bag. And then we got a bigger notebook for taking bigger notes. So just in case inspiration strikes, I got it right there with, kind of slotted in with the MacBook. And this is where a lot of my accessories and non cameras are gonna go. So yeah, I got this little Aperture ALM9 um, thing. It's dimmable, it's um, it's really bright. You probably can't really tell because um, it's really, it's already kind of light in here. But anyways, it comes with some gels and other stuff. It's just like a little handy extra light to just plop up wherever. And if I don't have a convenient place to put it, I can tape it with my gaff tape, which is also gonna go in the top section. Got my Tascam DR40. It's a pretty solid little um, handy recorder thing. I'm bringing my DR40 um, just to get like environment sounds and everything. Or if I just wanna take notes like Agent Cooper. Diana, I found the most charming little place outside of Monument Valley. The apple pie was delicious and they had some damn good coffee. Next up is just like some random little accessories. Uh, I've got some, I'm holding too many things. This is like a little, supposed to be a little thing to for your phone to go into and it like has a hot shoe mount right here. I actually end up using this most of the time with the aperture light because it's, it's like the perfect size for it and I can put it on top of my camera or my tripod or wherever. Got a cable release. Um, in case I wanna do any longer exposures at night or whatever um, with one of the cameras that I'm bringing. Couple cleaning instruments. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. Little lens cleaning pen. Really handy for getting um, sand out. These, these two, I'm gonna use these two a lot. Got this little Manfrotto little kind of tripod little thing, I don't know. Might not use it, but I'd rather have it and not use it than want it and not have it. I think I said that right. Two more things that go in this top pouch. I've got my Audio-Technica um, condenser microphone. Again, just for, I don't know, if I want really good, clean, spoken audio or some, I don't know, hold it up to uh, I don't know, it's something that wants good sound. This is gonna come in handy with, uh, along with my DR40, because, you know, that's that's how I record everything most of the time. Right now I'm using a Hashu mounted um, Rode video mic knockoff thing. Now we're getting to the really good stuff. This is the good stuff. Um, got like 20, 20 different rolls, somewhere around there. Got some Kodak Color Plus 200. Got some Kodak Gold 200. I've got a lot of Kodak Ultramax 400. Somehow I have a roll of Portra 400. I don't know where it came from. I don't remember the last time I got Portra 400. A smattering of Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. And a good amount of some black and white. And this is the last bit that's gonna go up there. It's just an empty bag for me to put all of my exposed but undeveloped rolls in. Um, that way, you know, I, I don't get them mixed up and accidentally double expose a roll. All right, now we get to the cameras themselves. First up, I've got my trusty Nikon F2. Um, I actually just got a 28 millimeter lens for it a couple days ago, and I'm really excited to try this out. And I'm also taking my beloved 50 millimeter lens. Next camera I'm bringing is my Asahi Pentax K1000. This will be really good for, I don't know, um, shooting a 
desert bird of some kind from very far away. Um, I don't know. This one is going to go right there. Next, another camera. Two more cameras. Actually, three more. Four more. Jesus, I'm taking a lot of cameras. So I've got my DSLR. That is going to go in last because, hey, I'm still recording. Uh, I've got my phone that I'm taking with me. I've got my F2, my K1000, and also this little uh, Nikon Teletouch. Uh, this is actually, I first time I shot with this was when I went to Kmart um, five hours away. And yeah, I thought it'd be cool to just have a, um, just have a point and shoot available for whatever reason, you know, just, I don't know. You don't always want to have to take the time to, I mean, you know what point and shoots are for. I don't have to explain myself, but I've got a little carrying case. It says Olympus, but this is a Nikon. You can go major dad style with this case and like put it on your belt, which it's just great. It's great fun. I'm also borrowing a GoPro from a friend, um, which is super awesome because I don't know, just in case I want any GoPro shots. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll find a use for it. I've got batteries on batteries on batteries, a charger, a battery power pack, little mobile power bank, I think is what it's called. Put my extra lens on top right there. I've got a variety of power charging cords and another microphone for some reason. I'm just, you know, trying to cover my bases here. This. <sighs> They're gonna go right here. Maybe. All right. Oh, this is. It's a tight fit, that's for sure. All right. Oh, this framing is way off, but um, I don't even know if I'm focused, but that's fine. Because, um, yeah, that's the end of this video. I've got a few different plans for stuff that's uh, gonna come out as a result of this trip. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see what all that happens to be. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm taking away too much stuff, because I, I know I am, but I've never really done anything like this. I've gone on trips before, but not with like the intention of shooting a metric butt ton of film. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks probably. So until then, bye.